I'm aware we've got a lot of narrative to control tonight, so. Uh... Oh. <laughs> Welcome to the Rasslecast Power Hour. I am one third, one, two, three of your tag team champions podcast format of the world. B hyphen, aka I don't have a clever name in my my little Zoom thing yet. I'll think of it later. I always that's have a to long do, aka. <laughs> look who's oh, talking. Okay. I always have to do the very first thing: pass the ball to Handsome Bane, though. Vince Black McMahon, how what? are you tonight, what? sir? Black Vince Black Man. Vince Black all. Man. Bla- I like right. Vince Black Man. Pr- you gotta pronounce it. I was I would say Blackman, but then that kills the pun. I was um, on the spot. <laughs> it's all right. Um as I dig for my notes, uh to, to call the marks something. Um <laughs> I'm just really pumped because we have a hell of a show. Uh emphasis on the hell. And we got a whole lot to get to. So, Marks, you are going to be, you're going to, I'll take shots at you throughout the episode. Don't worry about it. Uh, the only Mark that matters right now is our man, V, Mark Rob. What up? Yo, 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 what up? It's your motherfucking boy, <laughs> V, Mark Rob, a.k.a. Sean Matlove, a.k.a. Gordon Darks, a.k.a. Pacey Twitter, a.k.a. Himbo Slice, a.k.a. Big Sexy Kevin Splash, a.k.a. Whole Foods Hogan, a.k.a. Flavor Ramon, a.k.a. Black Ball Mahoney, a.k.a. Bang Man Adam Beige, a.k.a. Richard Pyrex, a.k.a. King Chitlin, a.k.a. No Cell Michelle, a.k.a. Larry July, because don't check me, check the paternity test, because you are not the father. What is up? Woo! Yeah. Damn. We, we need them gunshots in there for Woo! that. Woo! <laughs> I need Oof. to get my notepad up. I'm putting gunshots on this episode. And holy crap. Welcome oh. back. Friend of the pod. Friends of the pod. First the couple of, all, of the pod. Couple of the the first couple of of uh, the Rasslecast Power Hour. Hey, uh, uh, our very own Kit Kat Kitteridge, ace reporter on the job. And our guy, Grog. Grog. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. hello, hello. Wait. This is Grog. Grog. <laughs> That's how you have to do it when you have a, a, when you have a, sil- <laughs> when you have a single syllable. You gotta like put other syllables with it. So yeah, this is Grog. Hey. This is Grog. No, it's it's and it's definitely good to be back. Um, I gotta I, get my was, AKAs lined up. God, I was, I was like gonna eight. say, are we the power couple? But then I was gonna say, no, we're we're not. Power <laughs> couples are annoying as hell. Let's not be that. <laughs> Man, if that's a gimmick, you gotta ride with it, baby. That should be a um that that's gonna be a that's gonna be a yeah. draft. Yeah, we the, we are the, not Cody yeah. Rhodes and Brandy. Yeah, the the white Brandy and Cody Rhodes. Yeah. Um. We 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 are not. <laughs> We are not Triple H. Well, Cody is white. May he call, you know. <laughs> yeah, but like, uh... we are we are not Triple H and Stephanie. By the way, best to Triple H on a hell of a career. All right. Yeah. Well, let's get into. Do you care? Real let, quick, all right. Cool. We got, go. oh, wait. Can I? Rope. Can I? Can I take a swing at my AKAs real quick? Yeah. I don't. I don't think it. I have all of them, but I think I have like enough of them. This <laughs> would probably be fun. Um. <laughs> all right. Uh. So. Oh, God. Okay. Uh. What is up, uh, guys, gals, and non-binary pals? It is Kat Shinetti, a.k.a. the unbit mother of rabbits, a.k.a. Dad Rock Shock Jock, a.k.a. Kit Kat Kitteridge, ace reporter, a.k.a. Uh, oh, fuck. Oh, the girl with kaleidoscope hair, a.k.a. None of your fucking business, Woo! a.k.a. Fuck your fight club poster. Woo! Oh, I think that's man. all I gave no uh, uh Tyler, Tyler Durden of the DMs. Oh, the Tyler Durden of the DMs. Oh, so God. very pertinent in today's that is episode. Who's Probably. styling out there like a champion here? Yeah. I okay, let me, let me add that one in so we can like do it. Kellen, edit this so I sound smarter. Okay. Uh, AKA the Tyler Durden of the DMs. Uh yeah. Fuck fuck your bad toxic masculine feelings. Um Yes. What? Yes. Those are my feelings. Somebody just said, punching their own dick. Yeah. yeah. 
punch in their own game. <laughs> I told you I was gonna be taking shots at the marks throughout the episode. You know. It's oh, and this and way. and it's these healthy. marks are worth shooting at. Um, I'll t- I'll tell you what. These these marks, as I kind of said these earlier, marks loyal. Be- before we started, uh, the the marks that we're gonna be talking about make a very good case for gun ownership. Um, you should, <laughs> from the things that I've seen in this, it's like, oh, we need to be armed and ready for, yeah, for whenever these guys get ready to January six again. Uh, <laughs> uh, keep, keep an eye on WrestleMania, folks. Uh, they have a rival show popping up that weekend. Woof. Oh. Yep. Um, Stay inside. Uh, okay. Windows, windows locked. Is uh, three uh, in the making. Oh, we'll, I mean, we'll they're they're, we'll they're already in. They're already in Texas, though. So. The Yeehaw State. Yeah. <laughs> no, they got no. friends in low places, all right. The, the, the only thing, the, the only thing keeping this mark, the, these marks at bay, are other Texans with guns. I imagine. <laughs> That's it. Fact. So the, the only thing that can beat a bad mark with a gun is a good mark with a gun. Um. <laughs> Jesus. Um. All right, all right. We, we're we're gonna edge you guys to death. We're gonna leave your balls on ice for a minute. Uh, hyphen. Are you ready to get into Do You Care? It is time for Do You Care? The most exciting new segment in Rasslecast history. This is the third time we've done it. It's that exciting. All right, straight to the top. And I'm gonna go to Grog and Cat first. Tony Storm joins OnlyFans. This is only supposed to be a yes or no answer. We'll see what happens. Grog and Cat, Do You Care? No. Yes, only because good for her. Yeah. All right. All right. Mark Sex Rock. work is work. So, sex you know, we, we're, we're very pro-sex positive, pro-sex <laughs> workers getting that money. You know what that means, you know what I'm saying? But, um, come on now. We don't, we don't, we're not pro-shill on this podcast. So, even though we want to see them titties, no, we do not care. Yeah, I don't know if we just, care about her. Well, just just to to piggyback real quick. Uh, yeah, like good for her. Um, I I just it, I'm not gonna pay for it. I don't. I'm, 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 That's I'm not, what he I'm said. <laughs> yeah. Um, I I I I don't because well, for one, she's too young for me. Um, and two, she, I mean, and if, even if she wasn't like, you know, we, we know what this is. This is like Instagram content. This is, you know, ain't nothing like really about to pop off. Like I'm, you know, I, the days of getting excited about the Sears catalog are way behind me, guys. But also, way is, is she still under contract? No, no, no. WWE okay. knows. Her non compete is definitely over now. Because I was yeah. like, Ugh, I feel weird about maybe giving Vince McMahon money to look at someone else's titties. Like, no, I don't feel no. great about that. Those like, are no. the Playboy days. He wouldn't even let Zelina Vega do that, and yeah. she he wouldn't, wouldn't take enough Vegas, we, yeah. we, we, we all did enough of that during the Attitude Era. Mm-hmm. You, Gateway man. drug. Gateway Ding. drug, man. Gateway to porn for a lot of people. Hey. I, do you care though? Boings. Um, get your money, girl. But no. Yeah, I think I've seen her say, in her draws before. Like she's taken like lingerie pics and stuff before. It's like you've seen it once, you've seen it twice, you know? Like now, you know. Now listen, mm-hmm. call me if she gets into like ovipositors and other weird sex shit. Mm-hmm. Like if she gets real fetishy and weird. Right. She's not like spreading sister. her toes or anything. Yeah, so exactly. She gets into like, into know. weird but, shit, hook a sister up, but like so, otherwise, no, I don't care. What now now because now because because it's it's her like doing this do you think it kind of like the marks are gonna like kind of shy away from it now because you know it's not like con- because it's consensual you know how the marks like to kind of get no, there no there'll be, be people that throw the the 14 out so. there i, I, I think, think so. she already that man the knows the price man, she already please she's already <laughs> cleared like I read she's oh, already cleared she... like ten thousand dollars on. Oh, it was oh no, more than that. This yeah. way, yeah, than, no, yeah. no, it's but way like more thirty-three thousand well, so... in the first day. Girl. It was like the first y'all... week. Yeah, yeah. She, yeah, y'all remember Belle Delphine though? Like that internet girl who sold her bathwater. Yeah. She still yes. makes like a hundred thousand on on OnlyFans, yeah, and she true. doesn't even post anymore. But I like, just, yeah. the thing is, like, 
there is a point where your desire to be like a voyeuristic shit heel, but also your desire to see boobs of someone you like think you have a relationship with, uh, mm. like converge, mm. no, for right? Real, for real. So like people are gonna pay fourteen ninety five oh, because they're like, she really likes me. I know everything about her. <laughs> and like that's they're gonna pay for it. Um so <laughs> If I give her a lot of money, maybe she'll notice me. Um, just like, just like those, just like my dating sims. Yeah, exactly. So like, you know, good for her. Teddy bears get, get, get that sh money. Uh, unless she's asking me for photographer recommendations, I don't care. Um. All right. All right. Uh, so yeah. piggybacking off of that OnlyFans account, we're going to go to another, um, and th this isn't OnlyFans, but Nia Jax is also starting a fan site. Mark Rob, do you care? What's on this fan site? Is it a OnlyFans site? No, it's well? not an OnlyFans. It, it, it's oh, it's it's an exclusive. So from what she said, one week it was two days ago she posted this. So on March thirtieth, it says exclusive content. Lena Fanin or. Did I say that right? It's fine. Yeah, it's close enough. Okay. Sure. So or, like or Nia Jax. Stickers mm -hmm. or like titties? <laughs> I'm thinking if it's stickers. I'm thinking maybe. she's going the iconics route of kind of showing posting some some hot pictures of me looking sensual. Look. Not me, of the iconics or Nia Jax. No. Uh well, I hope well, it's hot pictures pay, of Kellen. I'd pay more yeah, for hyphen, that. I would pay for your Aww. nudes. I, I care Aww. about hyphen nudes. But <laughs> I if Nia Jack needs, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If if Nia Jack's not showing me in 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 person, on, in a one on one match, you, nah, we, we don't care about that. We don't care about Listen, that, bro. I, Unless I, you, you know, want to slide me the password, baby. The the first time I saw Nia Jax, DMs are I, open. I, I stopped because it was like um, I, it was I, I forget what one of those documentaries about you know people trying to make it or whatever, and it was like when she was first signed before she got on NXT, and, and I was I was channel surfing. And I saw night. I saw a, a gigantic, beautiful woman wearing a shirt that said "Property of WWE," and I was like, "Hey, whoa, wait, what's 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 this? What's this? Okay, I'm in. All right, well, who who is this now? Okay, cool." Um, and I've since again uh, the Sears catalog and the Vicky Secret Secret ain't done it for me in a long time, baby. But if you know she's doing something. For, you know, I might watch that, but I don't. I don't think that's what's going to happen here. So I don't. I don't. I don't really care. And then you know, I kind of find her annoying once she says words. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> and when she goes her, on when she goes on one of her anti-max, anti-vax rants. It's the it's know? the it's the words themselves. Yeah. It's yeah. not <laughs> the fact that she's saying words. It's just the and words she that she says that either. I'm just like, oh, man. So. Right. So Eric, Eric just wants to see the exchange of bodily fluids. I just, hey, hey, listen, I got, I'm a grown ass man. I'm a grown right? ass like, man. I'm a grown ass man, dog. This little and pictures. You ain't gonna move. The fuck. <laughs> Malaya Michelle is out there. If I want I'm... some toxic ass woman that don't know what the fuck she's talking about to take her clothes <laughs> off, anyway. I'm, I'm gonna Michelle keep it no real thing. simple and say no. Oh. Yeah, no, I could, but no. Oh shoot! Anyway, that's a no for me, big dog. Yeah, since we're talking about it. All right, next one. The Undertaker says it's difficult. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry. It's sorry. Right. Perfect to the last the, point. The Undertaker says it's difficult for him to have conversations as Mark Calloway. So, <laughs> Hanson Bane, do you care? Well, no. Um, <laughs> Absolutely I, no. Listen, no. I, I find it difficult uh, no. to listen to his conversations as Mark Calloway. Uh, woof. <laughs> you, you know, you know what I like listening to him trying to narrate the Halloween Horror Nights house, the haunted house they did for him that was supposed to be his kayfabe life. I like listening to that. I think it's really funny. Any other time I've heard him open his mouth, I've gone, 
Now, now, hang, now, hang on. Now you do a character. Oh, hey, y'all. Shit. Oh god. Oh, hey guys, it's Taker here. Hey, uh, ta hey guys, yo, happy belated birthday, hey, yeah, happy Undertaker. Birthday. Hey, all right, man. Thanks, man. Happy birthday, happy birthday Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I guess. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now, Who's now, here's the thing. Hey, here's the thing. Now, now, I, the Undertaker. That was the joke. He said he couldn't talk like himself. Jesus Christ. The Undertaker. Thank you for this, assuming I'm an idiot. This is wow. really hard to do. This is really hard to do. So, wow. uh, the Undertaker and Mark Calloway have two different birthdays. Oh Undertaker's God. born. Uh, I'm telling you, man. This 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 thing goes deep, man. I'm a mark for myself and the mark for the <laughs> business. Uh, they, we got two separate birthdays. Mine was a couple of days ago, I guess. I don't January know. I don't 6th, care. The only or... thing I care about that's when you know freedom prevailed. But it didn't uh, prevail, but okay. And then the okay. Undertaker's born on, of course, Halloween. Whoop de woo, you know. Uh, <laughs> they're those muertos, man. And uh, <laughs> but uh, I thought he's gonna say the day before Thanksgiving at Survivor Series. No, man, not Survivor Series. That's that's a day for family, silly. Anyway, uh, so I am going to go to the, uh, I'm going to go check out New Edition for my birthday. Michelle got me a couple of tickets to, to see New Edition, New Kids on the Block, okay. I guess. I don't know. I'm hoping, What's your favorite New Edition song? Uh, if It Didn't Love. You know, I like that one, man. That's the one where they're dancing in the studio, man. They do that little cool Did you ever do the dance taker? No, man, I can't. I can't get down there like I, that, man. I, I couldn't do the running, man. I, I kind of do, you know. I kind of do the walking, man, because uh, oh, you know can't, I got big can't long. Move legs. my shoulders. I anymore. can't move my things. I can't, you know, you gotta have a certain uh, swagger to do that. Swagger. That's what saying these days, right? Swagger. Swagger with the hard girl on it. Yeah, hard R on that. With the hard ER, R. man. Swagger. Hard ER. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know, man. Just getting older. Realizing, finally realizing I can't do the things I used to do, man. I'm not going to be having mania. Looking like Ricky. Or Bobby. will I be oh, at mania? Yes. No. You'll probably be at mania. Uh, 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 well, it's uh, in Texas. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Stay tuned, y'all. Uh, yeah, man, but it's, it, it's hard talking like me because the things I be saying are like really fucked up. And, you know, sometimes it's just really hard to sound dumb, as I do. Being this big, just be a big old man, you know, that made all this money in the business for as long as I did. And then you talk and then it, it turns out you're stupid and racist, man. So it takes a lot of labor to sound this dumb. Um, hey, Sarah, Sarah, man. I'm going to put this legend in the stars over this. God! You said it, Rex. All right, man. Never mind. Y'all boys have a good show. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, uh, oh, there's a lady there too. All right, y'all. Oh, I have a hard time recognizing women just in every sense of the word. Like socially or? Uh, yeah. 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 Anyway, I'm out. Bye. Get the fuck out. Bye. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so much beer. So um, much beer that man has had. So much beer. Uh, so we are on agreement. We don't care that he can't be Mark Calloway. It's hard. Yeah, to the, you know, and that, even yeah. that's even that sounds fucking stupid. But also, like, like homie therapists exist. Maybe just like talk to hey, somebody man. therapy um, for the, for Mark Calloway. Come so, on. So so you're saying you don't uh, you know think blue lives matter? Like what are, what are we talking? I'm, I'm here? saying because... if you have been playing a character so long, you don't know how to be yourself. Maybe seek some help. <laughs> Mm. Now, where do you think the Undertaker and Mark separate? We don't. I don't it, yeah, they don't. We don't. Undertaker I'm just, I'm just imagining someone too. greeting Undertaker by name, and you know, like, hey, Mark, and him just going, Mark, like, who's Mark? Wait, <laughs> like, oh, you just see his fucking yeah, brain the, the, attack the him ears, real quick. Yeah. No, the the only Fuck time me. he's ever Mark Calloway is when he's talking to Vince McMahon. <laughs> not even not even when he's with his wife, because he's still the Undertaker when he's with Michelle McCall, mm -hmm. but when he's with Vince McMahon. He's that's hilarious. hilarious. That's what mm. I think. That's, that's a hot ass <laughs> take, and I like McCool. it. <laughs> time to go it's to bed. Time. <laughs> time to pass me my medicine. Have you seen my medicine? Not even, not even nasty shit, just dumb husband shit. You know Where'd how you we put can't the find anything? Right, where's, where's the remote? Where's the mustard? <laughs>
Uh, I'm going, I'm going to open up to mow a the new, grass. Uh, a new bottle of ketchup because I can't find the other open bottle of ketchup. Oh, wait. <laughs> there it is. Um, uh, re re rest in peace. Like, mm. all right, dog. Uh, scale. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Are too early in this podcast, yo. All right, let's roll. I'm, let's roll. I'm Sorry. Did you walk the dog? Right. <laughs> Mark. Mark, cut so, this shit. Who's just, Mark? Just, just wake. Yeah, who is Mark? Just wake me up when I when it's my moment. I can't handle this. Who oh, the fuck man. is Mark? All right, let's roll. All Next. right, um, y'all gonna help, have to help me with pronunciation. I know I'm gonna slaughter it, but uh, recently it was revealed on AEW that uh uh the new tnt champion Scor scorpio sky his belt was had sex upon <laughs> uh, by ty conti and yeah sammy guevara sammy guevara grog do you care uh, i i mean not really but i keep going uh i keep going back and imagining what uh that pitch that sammy made to tony khan was like <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just like L listen, we're, we're gonna fuck on your belt, and everyone's gonna love it. Okay, so my thing is, I don't care, but there are two belts for that championship right now. Mm -hmm. Um, so I want to know: did they both wear them? What did it sound like when they hit each other? Like, I've got a lot of logistical questions. He is wearing the new, the the new version of it, I think. In right, the, but in the he has out. the old version. So, how did they decide which belt was the cuck? Like, did they decide? I have a lot of questions. Uh, we are we are um, now going into a deep uh, discussion on the logistics of fucking while wearing championship. Yeah, belts, but so. also like you know so, who knows a lot about fucking with championship belts. On? <laughs> there you go. I there see you, you polishing your belt there. <laughs> that's that's what that sounded like. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Oh man, um, I'm gonna get this in there real quick. Cheeks. Um, uh, yes. They're two beautiful people, and yes, I care. <laughs> Listen, so I'm mean, not ashamed to say I would watch that. So we uh, just I mean, her about... nudes are on Twitter now. So, well, uh, did she leak them or no, someone so. else leaked? Them? No, she right. she she leaked them for this work. Oh, okay. okay. So we just talked about Eric's oh, you oh, you nudes. mean tasteful nudes? No. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I mean tasteful nudes. Yeah, <laughs> I was about to say, like, yeah. like, whoa, she just busted it open on Twitter because yeah. she wanted to. <laughs> Listen, if she, if she, if she was doing that, if we had some, you know, uh, what they say is behind the scenes footage, but not really. If they had some homemade footage, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, the, okay, the exchange okay. of bodily fluids on personal time, you know, maybe we we should care, but you know, we don't care about we don't care about fine. if you're not gonna show us the low, don't tease us with you know Actually <laughs> I'm I'm gonna take it back and say that I do care because the idea of uh Dan Lambert, who is like a kind of no noted Wearing racist sexist home homophobe. Belt uh he he kissed the belt that Sammy Guevara has apparently busted a nut on. So, hey, hey, uh, and it, Sammy, Sammy yeah, even said as much after Dan Lambert kissed it. He so, said something along the lines of, well, now a small bit of me is in you now. Or some, some yeah. Gro some gross so like that. I'm, I'm a big shit. fan of uh, racist, sexist, homophobes uh, kissing belts that have bodily fluids have of, of, okay. of immigrants on that. them. Um, yeah, so yeah, go yeah, off. Um, Ty Conti, Ty Conti is is the person I'm referring to in that case because Sammy Guevara is from Texas. Too, she is super cute. Yeah, She's apparently yeah. also very nice. She was at a con in Connecticut this earlier this year or last year. Go, you guys. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't care. It's cool. It's cool, but I don't care. That's fine. Um, <laughs> what else we got? People be fucking, you know. All People right. Be fucking, man. W. The world go round. <laughs> WWE files food service trademark for Smackadillas. Mark Rob, do you care? I live in San Antonio. Shout out to all the essays around the world. We we can't be disrespecting Mexican culture like this, man. Even Tex Mex, like Tex Mex, let's just slap in the face of that. Like Jesus Christ. No, we don't care about no smack quesadillas. No, hell no. That's a no for me, big dog. Them flavorless, bland ass. No. <laughs> <Girl>. Nope. <laughs> nope. 
Hey, Krang, what's up? The the only reason that I care a little bit is because I'm fascinated with ghost kitchens, and this is a ghost kitchen <laughs> operation. There's a few uh, in Morgantown. So like I'm I'm intrigued by this, uh, but I'm much more interested in the pro wrestling tees pizza. All right, well, explain it to us. Let's, let's, let's do us. it. Get on to the, let's move on because I yeah no 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 <laughs> uh, no. I don't care about this shit. Anyway, but the pizza. Yeah. So uh, Pro Wrestling Tees has opened a pizza uh, ghost kitchen, and it sounds real dumb it and does. is real expensive. And I will give them credit where credit is due. They did, like, name every menu item after, like, a wrestler or a wrestling move. Um, it's also called Powerbomb Pizza. Uh, the mm -hmm. iconography is pretty great. It is a slice of pizza powerbombing a different slice of pizza. Um, pizza and pizza crime. But also, uh, apparently, it is just horrible. Uh, it was described. Pizza. It was described as having sweet tomato sauce. Uh, the Eddie Guerrero oh. Latin Heat uh, chicken wings were described as wet, and it was a dry rub. So the fact that they are Ooh. wet is uh, maybe disgusting. not ideal. Yeah. Uh, and apparently the, uh, what was the cheesecake pun? I don't remember what the cheesecake was. It was Brutus the Barber cheesecake. There we go. Uh, was, was good. <laughs> I know, I, I, I rolled my AKA. eyes as well when I heard that. Apparently it was good, but it was also like $11 for a tiny slice. So, uh. It's expensive. Sounds cheesecake. like OnlyFans to me. Yeah, and, and it's like, they reached out to Pro Wrestling Tees. He's more like, like Brutus the Barber cheap, cheapskate. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. They reached out to Pro Wrestling Tees well, and they were like, how exactly is this supporting the wrestlers? And they were like, wrestlers? Uh, what do you mean? So uh, that's going well. It's all going well here. Shout out to, uh, shout out to Pro Wrestling Tees for the being grift. as bad as everybody says Multiple streams of income. Constantly running into trouble when it comes to like for, everything. For for the uh, the bill of goods, they sold the widow Guerrero to, I guess, get her to agree to that fucking. Uh... But also for maybe being uh, like slightly racist and what uh, others. What she have to do with wings? Uh, well, you see, I guess he was Latin and hot, and so are these wings, supposedly. Yeah. That has not, no, 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 no. It's, they could have done anything. I, I, as, as, a, as, a, good look. as a huge fan of Eddie Guerrero, I am angry about that imag in an imaginable I just way. Don't, just, uh, <laughs> it's also fucking he's hot or something. Like, whatever, though. <laughs> whatever, though. Uh, uh, what else do we have in the before we get to something that I actually do care about? That uh, got a cu hour? couple other things real quick. Um, this we all care about. Jay Cargill uh, liked hey. a photo of our very own Cat Chinetti that hey, she posted on the Twitter. Um, she she's literally saying that bitch of Boston, see you there in response to Jay Cargill saying she's recruiting some bad women for my baddie section. And so it sounds like Jay Cargill is expected to see Kat Chinetti in Boston for the baddie section. And I care. I I care so much that I am rock hard with envy right now. Just, <laughs> this is I twice don't he know, said this in this week. I don't know where to put eyes. it. I don't know what it's just every time this you comes shoot your eye out. and I'm, I'm obvious <laughs> unquestionably happy for our very own cat chinetti but it should have I mean, been me are you well first of all uh, you know what I'm saying? I, you I don't are a bad think, bitch I think eric so i don't know uh but that said uh the the show in boston if you want to come i'll see if i can sneak into the bad bitch section maybe you can get some attention from our girl you know what, you um know what? I, I i wouldn't as, as as much you know bad bitch sections so, are for bad bitches that are well yes you're always but a bad bitch i don't know if you have noticed know. uh but jade has said men can come as long as they take good pictures of the bad bitches so okay. brush up on your men photography skills i i and maybe have we a can, brand new camera i have a brand new camera maybe we can make this work um okay. 
Let's take some bitch pictures. <laughs> uh, but I, I care. Oh, yeah, we, we all care. It is of the utmost importance. This is what I was talking about. Uh, and of course, care. of course, I care, even though, and a friend explained this to me, uh, by just the rules of how this works, uh, she is now Jade's girlfriend. Yeah, you kind of have yeah, to bro. just. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a, it's a Y'all were probably, reality y'all had a good that I have run. to accept. Got a good yeah. run. Well, like, well, Polly is in. <laughs> Polly is in. So oh, I don't. Oh. I don't get the sense that Jade's good for sharing. She doesn't strike me as yeah. the type of share. I mean, now if Kat likes wants to get some tell white you enough. about it, I think that's kind of like the 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 optimal thing here. Because it's uh, and 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 honestly, to me, that's that would be just fine. <laughs> look, look, I'll just <laughs> look. I'll just I'll just story. I'll just hang out in the back um, talking uh, toys and comic books with Mark Sterling. Yeah. There, it's fine. There are way worse ways to, to pass the time. Yeah. You know, get that story. I'll, su- I'll um, submit a full written report. Hey. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of full written reports coming from uh, Kit Kat Kitteridge today. Busy oh, woman. Uh, busy, busy woman. Super quick, I do want to get into one that I do care about. Uh, Shad Gaspar. Yep, named, that's where I was uh, going recipient next. Recipient of the 2022 mm-hmm. Warrior Award. I really wish that the Warrior Award would just be named to the Shad Gaspar Award because Warrior has made it fucking do anything. <laughs> he did not. Like, to yeah. be the, the guy that this award is named after. I'm just going to say it. He died the night after he cut a promo at uh, Raw after WrestleMania, and everybody's like, oh, crap. And so they gave him the Warrior Award. So yeah, man. that's the uh, only. I don't know, dog. <laughs> that may be the most heartless thing I've ever heard Kellen say. <laughs> but, bro, like, for real, like, they spent so much time burying the Warrior. He has, like, one showing where, like, they're like, okay, we're cool again. Which, I mean, honestly, if the Warrior lives, who's to say, bro? Like, he doesn't piss them off. And they He'd be bury working him for AEW. You know what I mean? Or where he pops in for AEW and, you know, spews it. Who's, who's to say that Dan Lambert isn't Ultimate Warrior's character? Like, you know what I mean? Because he, <laughs> he essentially is, was that. When you really break it down, Warrior yeah, he was... was yeah. He, he would be Dan he Lambert would, with muscles. Man. He would be saying all the stuff that Dan Lambert is saying, except he would take like 15, 20 minutes to say it. So much just ramble. To say it. <laughs> and yeah. and I guess that means he would be friends with Logan Paul, which is weird to think about. But with uh, ill-gotten muscles, uh, nigga, like uh, his, at his old age, roiding up. But uh, listen, I'm gonna keep it funky, bro. Like I, I I wasn't a warrior guy when he was alive, and I mean we do have a rest and piss wing. Uh, to the Hall of Whoa. Shame. <laughs> is uh, he's in oh, there? So we need he's we need to there. make an official ruling. Ultimate Warrior rest is resting in, in piss. piss. Let's Whoa. do it. Let's do it. A lot of there. people like it. A lot of people like him. I felt like he was charging I... entirely too much money to have you know people. Uh, in Roxbury, Massachusetts, come take pictures with him. Always uh, felt like he was trash, and I just felt uh, like he was a ripoff of, of uh, the guy I really liked before I found out he was racist. So, so, so uh, he's a, he's really a ripoff. This is Stinger. Oh, sting. But I but I can make you an official Stinger. <laughs> nice. You can't be real, like bro. <laughs> hey, 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 E, your, hey. your mic just went. Yeah, your, your mic went. I thought it was me. In the toilet bowl. Away. I wasn't sure if that was just I us. thought it was us. I think your, your sound, it, it just killed your mic there for a second. Yeah, I can't hear you at all. Hello? We cannot hear you at all anymore. Nope. Nope. Oh, okay. I guess we're supposed to keep going. I guess we're supposed to vamp. So, well, I was waiting on the official ruling from Eric if we are going to throw him in the West. Uh, so we need to actually make a list, Cullen. So so how many people are officially in the rest and piss win? Because the first inductee was new jack new and jack and the ducky <laughs> oh yeah he's wrestling oh, piss boy. yeah and so the 
Yes, sir. All right, and man. so the yes. the second. Yes. yes. Can, can you may come he, bring the volume up just just a little bit more? May he rest in peace. Hey, all right, hey. cool. Hey. Yeah. So there's only two in there, Mark Rob. So no, no, it's three. Who, who oh, else the, is in there? The, well, the second inductee was uh. Uh, Chris Benoit. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Rabbit Wolverine. That's a pisser. That's yeah, a pisser. I, yeah, he is gargling. You're not even right supposed now. to say his name, bro. He'll like pop I, up. I, I, I felt bad even saying you. it. Yeah, it feels dirty. It feels like ash whenever the words cross my tongue, bro. Like, I don't <laughs> like that shit. I, yeah, I feel the same way. You, you say his name, it feels kind of dirty. Like you just want to like brush your teeth immediately. But, Grog, um, um our, how yeah. how do you feel about our rest in peace wing with our three, three no, rest members? Rest, 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 oh, my bad, rest, rest in piss, piss. wing. Yeah. So, so you have you have New Jack, um, Voldemort, basically. Um, <laughs> <and> <laughs> right. He who shall not be named, and yeah. now and now yeah. warrior. Yes. Um, yeah, man. Fuck it. They, they, they any objections? All, I don't object to any of them. At least they're resting, bro. Like not terrorizing the rest of the world. So. Yeah, yeah. At least they rest in the For real, for real. Yeah. Anyway. All right, man. <laughs> We've gotten into enough trouble with God right now. So let's go. <laughs> <laughs> That's another one. We Stop left saying left. those things. <laughs> All right. I guess it sounds like it's time to get in trouble with God more. Uh no, no, no. This is a service that we are providing for, for our We're trying for to people warn out there. People. Yeah, this shit has to be stopped, bro. Like Yeah, I I guess um I'm I'm really here to educate. Um I'm sure you're like, uh oh, Jesus, it's Kat Chinetti again. Like, God, wasn't no she just is. here? And and yes, I was, and it's nice to see you two male wrestling fans. Uh Get but <laughs> I'm uh, I'm back. Uh, I know, very exciting. It's me, uh, bitches. Yeah, surprise, bitch. I bet you thought you'd seen the last of me. Um, yeah. So um, I'm. Oh wait, to... wait, wait! Before you start, uh, this is how we introduce Cat Chinetti segments. <laughs> there we go. It's our girl. That is indeed, of course, her laugh. I love yes. how much she she's so surprised every time it you drop it. Every on time. Her. It gets so every time. I, it, I so feel a it. whole new wave of self consciousness every time. It's great. Um, we we love it. That- it really <laughs> makes me remember why I cho- why I choose to cite my sources and try to be professional like every other time because I feel like a bad person. Um, anyway, um, you are not, and we love you. That's why we've recorded your laugh because it makes us happy. Uh, should we should we wait for for oh no okay here like, he is yeah, he's, yeah he's, he's returning he's we we back because I, I feel like this is a lot of uh, expository Let's stuff um all right so um I'm here today uh, Ace reporter Kit Kat Kitteridge uh, with my intrepid research assistant and uh, my my honey the uh, ever Grog. handsome Grog uh, we are uh, here to talk to you today about uh, control your narrative wrestling oh. Uh, slash the Control Your Narrative Initiative, slash Free EC3, slash Control Your Nutrition. I'm afraid I've got some bad news. Yeah, that about sums it up. Um, so uh, I have uh, a, a actual syllabus here uh, that I will be happy did to- the work, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, link, because it's got like sources and stuff in it. Um, so I, I'm here to talk to you today about uh, Control Your Narrative. Uh, and we're gonna start with what it is. Um, very simply, Control Your Narrative, or CYN as it's commonly known, is an independent wrestling promotion run by a bunch of canceled wrestlers inspired by Fight Club. Already Fight Club is clearly a movie they have seen and have a deep understanding of, obviously. Um, and uh, they've been running rival rival events to AEW and WWE, as well as other indie shows. Um, now, here's where we're going to start running into some familiar names before we even get into wrestlers. Uh, Mike Lindell, the My Pillow guy, uh, is one of their single biggest investors. <laughs> uh, and there's a bunch of other people involved in the Trump camp, and it's starting to seem like it might be a shell game. 
uh, for uh, Mr. Donald John Trump uh, himself to have actually invested in them. Uh, Jesus Christ! You also you also have like cryptocurrency firms and like that. Yeah, shit. and Ooh. and MLMs. Yeah. Um, it's starting. We're just getting started. This motherfucker. We are just getting started. Yeah, we we haven't even gotten to the dog whistles section yet. Um. <laughs> So, uh, Control Your Narrative has a uh, rules and regulations uh, section that is written in impact font, uh, that very pleasant and readable font that we all mm. love. Uh, and Greg has graciously agreed to do a, a dramatic reading of, of said rules. As dramatic as you possibly can be. We're here for it, Grog. Just losing it. Okay. These are the rules and regulations of Control Your Narrative. <clears throat> Rule number one. You are in control. Sleep. Mm. All right, I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> rule, rule number two. You are in control. Mm. All caps. Even louder. Exclamation okay. point. Gotcha. Uh, rule number three. Fights end when you tap out, get knocked out, can't stand, or quit. Sanctioned quote unquote matches can end by a pinfall. What? Oh, is it a fight no. or is it a wrestling match? No. Yes. Yeah, match yeah, is a quote. There, there's a difference. There's yeah. a difference. Oh they're they're, they're again trying to differentiate themselves from just the, the the whole of professional wrestling. So, God. Anyway, rule number four: standard quote unquote professional wrestling rules apply for sanctioned quote unquote matches. What's standard? Chaos ensues in the Project Pit. Mm. Again, Project Pit is in all caps. Mm. They could Project use Pit. they could use quotation marks, but they don't. Um. I did we uncover as to what exactly the Project Pit was? Is uh, it raw that, underground? No, <laughs> the, the Project Pit is the ring. Uh, but oh, because they can't fucking no call it a fucking ring way. because they're not professional wrestling. Quote but unquote. but also, uh, it's worth stating that every match that they do is a lumberjack style match, and they basically uh, draft uh, like y y local y like indie jobbers to just stand around the ring and like punch at people. So oh, not no. only I, I'm sorry, since the last time you were here, we've changed the title of uh, jobbers to dads on Dad's <laughs> Power Hour. So dads. they're all they're they're dads. Okay, we so call them they're called dads now in, in yeah. quotation marks. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, so so dads That's have to rule. stand around the ring and um, make sure that the actual professionals dads. don't uh, like do anything stupid, except they're encouraged to do stupid things all the time. Uh, we'll get there. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Um, Jesus. Jesus, hold I just need a second here. <laughs> Guys, I'm about to read this next one. Oh. I'm here for it, man. We're you very know, professional. It's just, it's, it's just boggles hey, the man, mind. Hey, man, if it boggles the mind, it boggles the mind, baby. Okay. Rule number five. No hashtag super kicks. No, no hashtag tope suicidas. No mm. hashtag Canadian destroyers. What the wow the hashtags? You know it, what? Um, we'll we'll get into that in the dog whistles section. But uh, I will just say that the Young Bucks posted in their Twitter bio for a while. Uh, like we love hashtag super kicks, hashtag tope suicidas, and hashtag Canadian destroyers. Yes. Hey man, I'm and sorry, uh, that but, was uh, what that was in the response to. Bucks are to. great at Twitter. Hey man, yes. uh, I I'm having a hard time with this one here, but I, <laughs> you still I think got... I'm agreeing with these guys. Oh no! Uh, <laughs> I can't look. Jesus, they they are they they can be overused. It's a problem in every promotion. It's not Boy. just to one, but like. We'll also get it's in. Al it's also it's also a clear cut fuck you to anyone who does these moves, mm -hmm. whether they do them frequently or not. I don't it's think nice. anybody there can actually do any of those moves anyway. Though. We'll we'll yeah, get when we when we'll we read off the it. roster, you're actually you're actually more you're actually right. When once we get to reading off the roster, but uh, so rule rule number six: the fight isn't with your opponent; it is with yourself. They beat so, him off uh, in the, in the oh, ring, oh, oh, in the project I, area. I, I would also like to just take a minute to appreciate that he is reading this out of a Hello Kitty folder. Um, 
because I really okay. I I figured what would make them the most angry, and a a Japanese cat seemed a uh, cat girl seemed uh, particularly likely to upset them. Right. Anyway, this this That's... Hello Kitty this Hello Kitty folder is my grip on reality right now. <laughs> I'm trying to get this. Hey, you do have to have like what they call a kick in uh, uh what was the fucking movie uh Inception. The confuse everybody. Yes, that is the kick in this Inception here. So anyway, yeah, the fight isn't oh, with boy. your opponent, it's with yourself. That's it's... some ultimate warrior shit, right? <laughs> yes, That's or... something the ultimate warrior would say. Or they're really fans of the Undertaker versus Undertaker match from SummerSlam 94. Mm, you know, that shit was classic. Jeez. Classic. Classic <laughs> trash ass match. Whoa. Oh, that match was awful. That shit I love it. It was trash. Rule number seven. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> These niggas love rules, bro. Rule number seven. Fights will go on as long as they have to. Sanctioned quote-unquote matches hit their times. Again, Again, all caps. Hit their times is in all caps. Who wrote this, man? A fourth grader? Somebody uh, who did uh, not amazing, know how to write. Amazing news. I know who wrote it. More coming we soon. Will, we will oh, get um, into that. Nice. Stop fucking edging us, guys. All right. And finally, oh, rule yes. number eight. All right, this is the last one. This, this crazy shit is, you know, only <laughs> so eight rules. Up. You can't be impartial. Yeah, for, I gotta say, for something about controlling your narrative, they have a dizzying number of rules that we'll get into. You can that. only control your narrative under these strict and specific conditions, okay? Otherwise, yeah. you're not controlling it, okay? <laughs> God. Um, but any- uh, Mom. <laughs> but anyway, rule number eight. If you want to hashtag control your narrative, you have to fight. I wonder where they got that last bit from. I feel like I'm on drugs. <laughs> um, Chuck Palum- anyway. Palumbo is going to be calling. So, yo, still yo, yo, do that. Write that first rule twice, and then at the end, say that shit kind of like again. All right. Yeah. So, um, I know you just said who wrote this. It sounds like you. It was written by a fourth grader. Great news. Let's talk about who wrote this. Uh, so EC3 is like the guy behind this whole thing. He is th- the guy. Um, he is referred to all over the website in the third person as, please hold on to something, uh, the essential character. Like a Christopher Nolan character, god damn. Yeah. His, his uh, role, I guess, is the essential character. Now, my understanding is that he has written like pretty much all of the copy on the website. The website is also very recently registered and it used to be the free EC3 domain. It is now the Control Your Narrative domain. The Control Your Narrative merch shop is also the free EC3 store. Now, running a whole wrestling promotion is a lot to do all by yourself. So you gotta have friends, right? Um, And he's got friends. And I don't just mean Mike Lindell. Uh, Adam Scher is uh, also one of his friends. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, the former Braun Strowman. Yeah, hell yeah. Yep. So um, (laughs) if y'all remember, he's the one who's like, wrestlers shouldn't uh, have Patreons during a global pandemic. uh, Because if you don't, if you can't pay your bills, don't do it. Strong man didn't pay my bills, uh, so I moved to Florida to be a pro wrestler yeah. in a brand new car. Yeah. Go off, I guess, yeah, King. Yeah. Like, um, literally, right, yeah, y'all remember that, right after the world shut down, mm-hmm. and, you know, all the indie bookings dried up because the world shut down, and I believe it was Eno, Evil Uno who was openly encouraging people to, you know, support indie wrestlers, buy their merch, they're gonna go, they're going through a really tough time, you know, with seemingly no end in sight, and um, Braun dipshit here, just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> well, my favorite thing is he was like, I packed all my belongings into a Kia Soul. 2013 was the year Kia Souls came out. So like, <sighs> I packed everything into my new off the lot yeah. car like, <laughs> and drove to, yeah. fl- fuck, fuck off. Uh, and then also his new thing is that he's been trying to gaslight everyone about it. He's like, oh, this was before there were shutdowns. And like, no, it wasn't. Like the date that you tweeted that is public. 
Like we we all know. Yeah. Anyway, um, oh, oh, oh. He, but he did. Yeah. Uh, but but anyway, out. yeah. So, <laughs> but anyway, Dumbass. Adam Sh Adam Share maybe you know maybe not the most tone deaf person in all of professional wrestling, but he's certainly on the list. And uh, then we have uh, like the. List. The other kind of, like, he's not in the upper echelons, but they've hinged a lot of their marketing around this person, so I think he's worth mentioning. Um, Austin Aries is an oh. anti-masker, an anti-vaxxer, and a uh, multiple, multiply accused sexual assailant. Uh, and he was, like, their first announcement signing. Uh, and he had uh, this to say. Uh, you don't get to force your truths onto me. You don't know me. <laughs> you don't Christ. define me. You don't color my perception. You don't create my reality. And you certainly don't control my narrative. Oh, Only boy. I do. Oh. Um, it sounds like EC3 is controlling his reality, but I- uh, It's I also speculated that Brian Cage will join because he's uh, refused to get vaccinated and AEW can't really do anything with him. So they're probably gonna cut him loose fairly soon. Um, but it hasn't been announced yet, but every event they do, they keep going, we have a major AEW player signing into Controller Narrative. We'll see major. you next time. And yeah, major, you know, uh, major. Brian. Major in quotes. Major I, in quotes. I, I watch uh, the AEW every week, right? And I had to Google who Brian Cage was because we just haven't seen him in so long this, that I forgot he existed. Mm, um, fucking muscle So head. like, and like a number of different, um, number of different guys in the industry who have been canceled for lack of a better word. Yeah. Like names like Teddy Hart and uh, Alberto Del Dipshit have been uh oh god have been floated. Apparently they're also going to appeal to um, guys in bodybuilding and powerlifting and circles. And also like, uh it's rumored uh judging by the fact that they all recently just started following each other on social media that uh Joey Ryan might be meriting an invite oof. soon. So um, this is basically a prison colony. Is yes. what, what they're building here. Um, <laughs> this is fucking Australia. <laughs> this yeah. is fucking Australia wrestling. Shout out to the legend and the and, and our uh, Hall of Famer Savannah Summers. We're not talking about like your uh, Australia. Of course, we're talking about the 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 prison colony. This is uh, this. This group of men would be hunted by the predator. Like, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this no, is like, sure. um, and, and, and you're like, go predator, go, go. Predator. I feel like, like they are. They wouldn't even be hunted by the predator. They would be the idiots that are like, oh, we're gonna go after it. We can take yeah. it. And then like you just watch them get picked off one by one, and every and time you it see happens, the predator like, go baby face, <laughs> turn baby face. Yeah. <laughs> the, pre the, the predator is not going to control my narrative. Right. Uh, Right. Okay. Great. So, um, that is rough. Then we get to get into some of the finer points. Um, remember how we were like, okay, but like, what is this? What is the narrative here? Uh, well, they have uh, about 15 different pages on their website full of non answers about what the narrative mm -hmm. is. Um, do you, would you like to take this one? <laughs> yeah. All right. So, uh, we now have a, an additional dramatic reading from the website. Uh, under the heading, what is hashtag the narrative? Yeah, which, first of all, this shit is too long, didn't read. Just between read just between read. all caps, uh, hashtags, and quotation marks, there's something, like, there's there's a we're quote not, to be broken. We're, but, we're not even, right? so like, but also, I will just state for the record, this is the shortest section on the website about what the narrative is oh, by like a, a factor of 10. This is like eight lines and most of them are like two to three to four times that long. So let's do it. All right, so what is the narrative? Hashtag the narrative <laughs> is where Fucking one goes gosh. to destroy their past. Where oh, you take back control. Where you fight for freedom. Oh my God. Freedom? Where you, where oh you God. fuck. Where you find your purpose. Hashtag the narrative is where you go to become who you were always supposed to be 
Oh, and God. just a, a reprise of the fight isn't against an opponent. The fight is a test against yourself. Holy shit. So I saved the dog whistles section for the end. Uh, but it is worth noting, like, you're for sure kind of right, Eric. Uh, we'll get into it in a little more detail. But like, y- yeah, yikes on bikes. Um, now... I, in case there weren't enough red flags. Uh, I <laughs> I did not find any verification of this, so I've been trying to, I didn't include it because I couldn't source it, but there is a uh, alleged thing that's coming where you can uh, pay money to uh, go in a room with your least favorite wrestler and yell at and possibly physically assault them, uh, and they will not be able to fight back except all of the people that they like mentioned are people who have like noted control or behavioral issues uh, or like are sexual assailants. So that seems like a really bad idea, but uh, apparently it's something that's under quote heavy consideration. Um, but the tweet that said that has since been deleted or privated. So I can't, I can't share that. I'm sorry, but yeah. Um, so in case in case you were wondering, uh, you could like go to a room and punch a guy, and he might just murder you. Uh, but that's controlling the narrative, baby. Um, and that's why I kicked your leg out of your leg. All right. So um, I did include like a very long, detailed write up of what an event is like. Um, but I just wanted terrible. To sh- <laughs> I just wanted to share a couple of the highlights. Uh, these are th- so. First of all, like I mentioned. Uh, all of the jobbers slash dads, in quotes, uh, were standing around the ring, which made it really difficult to see. Um, also, uh, Adam Scher uh, kicked a kid in the face, like a Jesus. five-year-old kid. Um, and he, like, apologized to the kid and then whacked the kid on the back as a, like, get up, kid, so hard he hit yeah. the railing again. Um, and then just, like, hopped over the railing and went back to what he was doing. Um, so Adam Scher is the reason that kid's, like, gonna have stunted growth for the rest of his life. Uh, there were no chairs. Um, it was advertised as an event with assigned seating, and there was no chairs. Um, so we're gonna start there. You think they can afford things like chairs? Yeah, I was gonna say, that was a, that was a conscious decision, because this, they have, yeah. I'm fascinated by the fact that there was assigned seating and chairs were mentioned as a thing that would be there. Uh, but there were not chairs. Also, um, this, totally gonna be chairs this here, was guys. in a private room in a bar, except it wasn't. Uh, mm. There was no private room at this bar. There was just the back half of a bar. Now you might be saying, okay, that sounds fine. What was in the front half of this bar? Well, let me tell you, there was an Uncle Cracker cover band Ooh, that by some reports drew a larger crowd than the actual wrestling event. Um, listen, <laughs> listen, I see the vibe. Go for the Uncle Cracker cover band, stay yeah. for the <laughs> assault. Watch a, watching a five-year-old get kicked in the head. You don't um, have to stay. Watching a five-year-old get smacked by a six foot eight, 350 pound dumb shit. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, he is a dumb shit. <laughs> now let's talk about some of the things Idiot. that were said uh, apparently uh it was oddly quiet like the whole time uh there was like a weird like awe thing happening it, it sounds like a cult honestly like the more i was reading about it the more i was like yeah. this was a cult initiation neat mm-hmm. um so austin aries uh confronted quote space cowboy end quote there are no pictures of space cowboy i don't know who space cowboy is um during one segment and asked where he got his quote starter kit adam page cosplay outfit uh, Aries then went on to say he'd have to carve seven inches off of his legs to match the reigning AEW world champion. And someone in the audience yelled, and two inches off your dick. Um, <laughs> so apparently that was just the vibe. Um, and I'll just say, uh, those are real fucked vibes. Uh, also, uh, no women involved. They say they are not anti-woman, but there were apparently uh, less than three women fans uh and no women were involved in the production at all there were no women at the merch table uh, apparently there were no women in the bar at all except the ones that were there to see the uncle cracker cover band so uh it's, 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 so what you're saying is they get no bitches yeah uh but also like get it uncle cracker um fucking uncle the cover band um, not, not uncle the real uncle cracker. Cracker. The cover no, band. But it's, it's it's uncle cracker but spelled like cracker like 
Yeah, these these dudes, these supposed alpha males, and they're losing out on women to the Uncle Cracker, Cracker cover, cover band. band. <laughs> um, so there's yeah. that. Um, you guys couldn't draw what Uncle. <laughs> What Uncle Cracker. <laughs> they they also, by the way, said they had no problem with the gays, which is I think the funniest way. We got to no out problem with the gays, man. Which is the funniest Whoa. way to out yourself is having a problem with queer people. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. also, like they they were like, well, in control. There's a there's a now deleted post that's like in control your narrative. Like men are men and women are women. So uh, they are not. Jesus uh, Christ! Don't not, worry about <laughs> learning new words. Yeah. Like they're pronoun. They are uh, not worried about gay people, but it, any other part of the LGBTQ community just seems a bridge too far for them. Um, they did also tweet Effie, a uh, famous out gay wrestler, publicly and was like, "Do you want to come like do this?" And Effie no. publicly responded with, "I want to go home and fuck your mom, and I'm not even straight." Uh, so I do think that's worth. Uh, <laughs> I hate you. Uh, I hate your guts. Uh, and uh, the other thing that's really interesting about this, from my opinion, is that all of these threads are now deleted. So every time I see a CYN anything now, I just screenshot it because I know it's going to be gone in a couple of days. Um, so anyway, moving on. Um, I'm going to save the dog whistles section for last because I think that there's a lot of kind of reincorporation stuff there that we need to talk about. Um, so the store is a uh, free EC3. It's not actually uh, a CYN store. They just sell CYN merch. Um, the CYN logo is three lines. Uh, I don't know. And, and the middle line is longer. I don't know if it's supposed to be like, huh, like the guys in the middle between the left and the right, like their dicks are longer. Like, I don't know what it's supposed to be. Mm. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if that's also a dog whistle that I just couldn't find any sources on. So, um, um, let me take a crack at it. Um, I know that one of the symbols of like the clan is when guys put their finger, put their thumb in their belt loop and they let their, uh, they, from their middle to mm -hmm. uh, pinky finger hang or yeah. one of the, or one, one of the three, you know, so, three of the the four fingers hang down so maybe mm -hmm. maybe i'm reaching but i don't see nothing yeah <laughs> um <laughs> so uh they sell workout shorts um that are really just drop crotch underwear um and they describe them as confidence enhancers Oof. Yeah, boy. and uh, my favorite part of we this, got big old dicks over here. Yeah, uh, <laughs> niggers with big dicks and AKs over here. My my favorite <laughs> my favorite part of all of this is that the model is covering his face with a weight in yeah. a way that would not naturally occur during yeah. a workout. Listen. It is very clear he does not want to be there. Let's he doesn't want to be associated with this. He is yeah. holding. He's like this. <laughs> there are no like you can see his sexy leggies and that's it there are no other identifying feet. you can't see any tattoos nothing this man does not want to be a part of this um hey man you're sexy want to take a picture for our modeling stuff i'll brush i mean what's my name now the essential no wait uh, i no, think it's just adam share i'm adam share not like Cher, the musician, though, because that's what the the gay is like. Um, gays like that. Uh. -uh. Oh. No, you gotta I, you gotta call me. them the gays every time. Like that's the thing. Like the Batman. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. No. I only do straight guy shit, like selling underwear. Like selling underwear and eating beef jerky. And talking oh. about how S McCormick spices is causing my sperm count to go down. Yes. I'm not anti-woman. Some of my best friends are women. Thank All God right. for McCormick. So have we, I think now is a great time to pivot to this additional offshoot brand of Control Your Narrative, which is Control Your Nutrition. Oh, no. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh, no. Um, so Control Your Nutrition. No soy. Is a uh, group that works with uh, Dudes Gourmet which is a company that exists. And the entire premise of Dudes Gourmet, as far as I can tell, is basically teaching men how to cook one meal well so women will fuck them. Um, 
That seems to be their whole Sweet. thing. And then also having like protein powder. So here is the product description for their uh, Control Your Nutrition oh, Spice 4-Pack, which is $27.95. Mm-hmm. Quote, Big seasoning, end quote, has been contaminating your beef, chicken, fish, and even your vegetables for far too long. Um, control your nutrition, which is not capitalized or in any way italicized. So oh, they man. just sometimes are like- It's a throwing, Christmas miracle. They are sometimes throwing their brand name around formatted incorrectly, which weakens the brand, but whatever. Control your nutrition provides all natural ingredients. Now, here's- Health consequence herbs. That doesn't mean anything. That's also MLM language. Um, And spices. Health consequence herbs and spices provide flavor that will punch you in the face. The time is now to take back control of your nutrition! In all caps. Um, The Control Your Nutrition 4-Pack is our best value, combining all four seasonings so you're covered for every kind of meal. Save $4 when you buy all four! Um... So to recap, and we're not done yet, but to recap, so we have control your narrative, how to control your narrative, um, this weird cult-like atmosphere that is also apparently an MLM. Are you confused yet? Yeah, hella confused. All right, great. It's it's about to get even more confusing. Oh man, yes. Okay, so uh, I think now is as good a time as any to talk about the dog whistles section. So, um, I have, uh, I'll be honest, I was not like really looking to like start Googling dog whistles and get on some kind of watch list. Uh, so I just went for ones I could find easily documented on Twitter. I'm pretty sure I'm already on a watch list. So shout out to my CIA agent, sup homie. Um, <laughs> shout out to you, Agent Johnson. You did. Yeah. <laughs> um, so... Uh, first of all, a lot of the language that's used is specifically similar to language that's used on QAnon kind of forums in just the general, uh, like, yeah. fuck your feelings kind of atmosphere and attitude. And the, like, very kind of straight, uh, fight club presenting kind of attitude, the, the super straight, the kind of toxic attitude there uh, that exists in that movement is kind of covered as part of that as well. Um, now, if we're getting specific here, um... The random hashtags mid-sentence and very random capitalization is often something that's used to encrypt like weird fucking Q messages as well as just general, I would say like uh, generic brand alt-right messages in public forums. Um, So that's probably some of that. Uh, But also there's some other like slightly more disturbing shit. Like uh, if you go on the MyPillow website and try to buy a MyPillow, and use the code CYN, you get 88% off of your order. Uh, And 88 is uh, a very well-known Nazi dog whistle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. Of all the fucking numbers you could have- And uh, (laughs) when they were asked about that, they were like very coy about it. They were like, oh, does that stand for something? I don't know. Um, which are very similar. Uh, uh, Heil Hitler on the libs, man. So uh, EC3 did an AMA on Reddit yesterday, which would have been uh, March 24th. 4th, yeah. And he said that he doesn't like neo-Nazis. Uh, but then proceeded to say that he was not gonna, like, do... He's like, I'm not aware of any dog whistles. And they're like, 88 is a dog whistle. And he was like, I'm not going to change stuff that already exists. <laughs> it's already done. Um, there it is. So it is, like, very heavily suspected that he is playing dumb, basically. Um, and, like, there's a lot of documentation of him, like, saying things that are not the same thing as, like, what is actually happening. Um, so I also have a little sum up section about, uh, why are people follow up falling for this? So first of all, um, the short answer is uh, a lot of the people who are investing are investing a lot of money. And when ring of honor shut down, uh, it created this weird power vacuum for mm-hmm. Indies, especially ring of honor wrestlers. There are a couple of wrestlers on this program who have not advertised being on CYN programs anywhere on their personal socials. 
but CYN does fly them places, pay them, and like put them up. Uh, mm. So they have been wrestling on the card, even though it seems like they don't endorse their material at all. Mm-hmm. But since ROH laid check. off their entire roster, right. uh, there's yeah, you know, there's a power vacuum that exists right now. Like they got to do what they got to do. There's, there's, there's a power vacuum and, you know, guys need a place to work. Yes. Yeah. N- natural Absolutely. that something like this. So I do think some of it is related wow. to that. I think if Ring of Honor had never gone under, there's no way that this would have gotten the legs under it that it got. Um, additionally, uh, white male Rules fragility is at an all-time high, homies. Um, like, it was pretty well exemplified at uh, the January 6th that anything that is kind of considered countercultural in a way that uh, vibes with, like, things aren't like they used to be, uh, slash, I want cryptocurrency, slash, uh, I need protein powder or I'm literally going to die, uh, kind of vibe together. Mm-hmm. Um, and this is kind of the ultimate male power fantasy in that way. Um, so I think that's definitely getting it a lot of marketing as well. And like a big push in that direction. Um, I also think a lot of people are just, uh, you know, they, they remember when, uh, people like would just die in wrestling rings and for Mm -hmm. some reason they fucking miss that. Um, Mm -hmm. you know, the big thing that they're capitalizing on here, honestly, outside of the like dog whistle shit is, Hey, remember when wrestling felt dangerous? Um, right. And in this case, for them, dangerous means still doing pretty choreographed wrestling moves, but kicking a five-year-old kid in the head. Um, no, it's like, remember when guys wrestled with concussions? <laughs> um, and the final the final point on my, my little Whatever bullet list here. Those days of wrestling with a concussion. Wait, what, kind of, what, is, what is this copy I'm reading? Uh, and then my final point is uh, people fundamentally misunderstand Fight Club. Uh, <laughs> Vastly, everybody. They, it's yeah. always really funny to watch people realize uh, or or have it explained to them that Fight Club is meant to be a deconstruction of the toxicity in that culture and not an endorsement of it. Um, it's really Wait more of a. a it rem- <laughs> okay, so this is one area where I'm gonna get like vaguely editorial for a minute, so I do apologize about that. No, nah, uh, because I know I'm a young it. professional, but this um, whole show is overtly editorial. <laughs> I've Do been tra- I've been trying to present the news. Um, and you've been doing wonderful. But uh, I said my name was Black Bald Mahoney. You know we're <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know. Ca- um, catching any cat. It's time for you to control your narrative. Yes. All right, so it's it's time for me, I guess, to talk about the fact that I wrote a thesis about Jane Austen, because uh, that's my narrative, fuckers. Uh, but I promise that this is actually related is. to this. Um, so Jane Austen was fundamentally misunderstood by white male scholars because she is actually writing a send up or a high level, like really a satire of the novels of the time. So really by very almost over earnestly over committing to the tropes of the time, she's doing a send up of those tropes, right? So Pride and Prejudice isn't as earnest as people think it is. It is poking fun at the absurdity of the other like romance novels like that at the time. There's a lot of documentation around this. If you don't believe me, like that's fine. I'll send you my 45 page thesis. But if you're not willing to work with me on this, you're not going to read that and just, you know, save yourself and myself the time. Uh, Anyway, so Fight Club is really similar in that way by so over overly leading into those tropes it's doing a send-up of those tropes right yes Um, yeah but uh the reason that it's often forgotten that jane austen was doing a send-up is because the uh educational literature field was controlled by men and men weren't reading romance novels at the time and then they were going back and trying to extrapolate what was going on in jane austen and they couldn't because they didn't have the contextual framework in which to work um Tell them, okay. So sure. similar things are happening with Fight Club because Fight Club was written by a out guy, uh, an out gay guy, uh, about toxic masculinity culture as someone who is experiencing it from like a an insider but not an insider perspective. And uh, I think if you don't know that, uh, and also like you grow up in this toxic masculinity culture because like at this point. Toxic masculinity is basically a generational trauma problem, whatever. Um, Mm -hmm. There's also a lot to be said there, but toxic masculinity is a generational trauma problem. This is the culmination of that generational trauma also mixed with what, if you don't know, feels like a really earnest hug of, yes, toxicity is great, isn't it? Um, 
that puts this like pressure cooker situation together. And that's how you get something like this. Uh, on top of like half of the country thinking that Donald Trump is like a hero when Ugh. he's uh, at best, at best a huckster, like creates this weird <laughs> like echo chamber in an echo chamber in an echo chamber in an echo chamber. And uh, when you micro niche an echo chamber in an echo chamber in an echo chamber in an echo chamber, that's how you get control your narrative. Um, and I don't that, fault yeah. the people who are choosing to work with them because they need money but I am faulting the people who are choosing to work with them and actively promote them because their ideology is dangerous. And like wrestling is something that's fundamentally like, and again, I've said it before, I'll say it again, wrestling is action figure drag. It's inherently appealing to children. If this is gonna be how you're gonna introduce children to something like this, you are automatically indoctrinating them into a cult. And I'm not comfortable with that. I don't mm -hmm. think anybody should be comfortable with that. Uh, and I also think that like by uh, encouraging an MLM like this, uh, not only are we capitalizing on that, we are capitalizing on people who want to be like that. Um, like, there's a reason I think that Kenny Omega doesn't come out on AEW and talk about the supplement brand he helps run. Um, mm -hmm. You know, the product and the the product and, and in this case the product are separate. Right. Um, right. And that's done on purpose. This has conflict of interest written all over it, but people don't care because it fits their exact box of what they need or what they think they need. And what's going to happen is that someone's going to get hurt, someone's going to die, or both. Uh, and that's... Yeah. In ring and as a result of what's going on. Yeah. And like, I, I think that this kid getting kicked, and I hate to keep harping on it, but they've only done very limited in-person events. On. But also like, they've yeah. done two in-person events and one of them resulted in a kid getting hospitalized. But also, Child. part of the reason that I have an issue with the seating thing is don't advertise that there's seating if there's not seating because people will then bring their kids thinking they will be safe and they're not safe. Mm -hmm. um, so this is also a, a, an issue of ableism. This is an issue of not caring for children. This is an issue of not being careful. And because they're all white men, they're going to get away with it. Um, and yeah. And I'm over it and I'm tired and like, I just got here. I'm aware that I'm very late to this wrestling party, but I just arrived, all right? And I don't need y'all ruining it. Yeah. And that's the, that's why that's I'm- the bottom line, for real. That's the only reason that I'm really watching this, like, and not, not, not watching the problem, but watching what happens with this. Like that's, that is the, the whole point that I'm like giving this any attention because they need to be stopped. Yeah, and they're like, they're, first of all, the talent that they have is terrible. Like, yes, you know what I mean. Like, Adam Shear was just like a he was a he's Frankenstein's monster. He's a dude that was just given some stuff to do, and because he's just like a great big body, and uh, you know they didn't like really let him talk or do anything. He didn't like have any again with the narrow blah 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 whatever like. Mm -hmm. Also, it's just people talking out of their ass, and that's always dangerous. Like nobody's saying anything of any importance whatsoever. Um, only that it's a, it's only important in its inherent danger. You know what I mean? So like that's the reason and to look out for it. I didn't even get into the problematic aspects of platforming known abusers. Oh no! But that's a whole other like oh. issue that I I feel like honestly could merit its own podcast. And I think it's something that we've talked about. Mm -hmm. It's something we've talked about, and we should do this again sometime a lot yeah. about you know the idea of enjoying art by people who are bad or monsters. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that's a Venn diagram. Case, that's just one big circle. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're choosing to actively replatform people who like if they choose to replatform Joey Ryan. He has been accused by over 30 people of different genders of sexual harassment or assault. Yeah. Yep. And like, listen, and I, think, I, think, I think it's a little weird that we all still are like standing Darby Allen considering some of the stuff that's come out and like Sammy Guevara had to go do sensitivity training and he hasn't, but whatever. Um, but like 30 people. Yeah. Um, yeah. like at one time he has editor credit on his own Wikipedia page. So this isn't there anymore, but on 
Jesus. At one point on Wikipedia, there was a list of every single person with reference links, and it was like 37 people. Christ. Man. Um, including some of the production staff on the season of RuPaul's Drag Race he was on. Wow. Um, Damn. Yeah, yeah. He was Oof. on RuPaul's Drag Race season four, which I believe was 2007 or 2008. So it, this is not news. Um, and they're choosing to actively replatform him, possibly. But like, and, just generally, yeah. Austin Aries, same thing. I think he's got gross. 26. Uh, Fucking uh, gross. Like, yeah, took the words right out of my mouth. Like, I was about what? to say gross. And he's just, he's not even, like, these are, again, we're talking about guys, they're not good. No. They're not even good. They're not worth the trouble. Like, no, well, nobody's worth the trouble that they bring with them. But like, they're not like, it's not like they're they're like, oh, these guys are just phenomenal generational talents that just like, all right, well, you know. Happen we can... to be. Right. It's the, like they're no, they're, these are not hills to die on. These aren't no, money making not. guys. You know what I mean? Like, I, you know, it, it, Hogan made a bunch of money, you know what I mean? And he was a piece of shit for a long, long time, but he made money. Like, nobody's paying to see Austin Aries, bro. Like, nobody is Ex like, Except oh, shit, that some people that. are because they're like, well, women are sex objects that exist in a space and that's all they are. So they can't be upset if people don't listen to them. Fuck like, them. that's that's what this is boiling down to right is it's they say they respect women but they show a blatant disregard for women they say that they respect people of color they're showing a blatant disregard for people of color they're saying that people they they respect queer folks they're showing a blatant Four disregard days. for queer folks they say they respect folks who are disabled they are actively platforming anti-maskers anti-vaxxers and that on its own says all it needs to say about that like it's Bring your own chair, you know what I mean? Like, what the fuck, bro? And Right, and, 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 and also, also in yeah. saying that it is safe for families, it's not. and, and yeah. the product is them just like basically saying Adam Page is a gay, like that is not acceptable. And, um, and we've also seen this happen with like gaming, you know what I mean? Like yeah. these guys who have, you know, these these this indo indoctrination of these cults, like this isn't like where, you know, Cachinetti is not some, uh, you know, she's not being chicken little here. The sky is actually has fallen before. Yeah. So in this sense, like all this shit that's being said right here on this podcast that has been painstakingly researched, and we thank you for this. Yeah, absolutely. Because uh, we also know that this is a very, uh, uh, this is a, a sore subject. Should be a sore subject for all of us, right. but like people like go through shit. Uh, you know, we're, uh, we're very grateful for you to, you know, go ahead and, and, and do this, do the work that you've done and come on this episode. And, you know, I mean, you know, you know, you know it's, we'll have more laughs at some point. I would like to, yeah, but obviously, like, this is, yeah. you know, this is, a, this, but is, this a, is serious. Like pro yeah, wrestling supposed yeah, to be fun. Tough one. Yeah. And, and this, uh, none of this is fun. None of this is cool. This isn't fun. This is um, like everything that we're, we stand against. Like, I, Rasselcast is, like, the opposite side of the spectrum of all this bullshit. I, I feel like I should just, like, tap a racial epithet, but it seems, like, really... Yeah. Just, I, I think, like, in... in we want to go, in... fuck up! There it is. There we go. <laughs> Girl, were uh, you going to say something? Go ahead. You were gone. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it's just... A couple of things that obviously there's nothing funny about what's going on with control your narrative. No. It's mm -hmm. Like we, like I was we laughing earlier, laughing but it got, like, we, got we, we, we laugh about their, we laugh about their very bizarre rules and regulations, right. and yeah. we, we just laugh about this whole. There is this, stuff this, this that is doctrine. laughable, but not funny. It's, I would it's, say it's yeah, we, should it's take, we should take this shit very serious. It's, yeah. it's, it's laughable, and it's, and it, but it's also disturbing. Um, Super disturbing. Like another, like a couple of things that like I'm kind of low key uh, taking comfort in is so the show that they're doing WrestleMania weekend they're actually running the same day as Josh Barnett's Bloodsport, i.e., mm. i.e. the the show that this show wishes it were yeah um, like le right but an actual legit tough guy contest that's not up its own ass <laughs> um, <laughs> that and also like. One of the guys wrestling on that show, the, the CYN's doing WrestleMania weekend, is Killer Cross. Um, oh, God. 
Yeah, Killer Cross is also. I almost you said all too. elite. No, I don't. I don't. I don't fucking want him for AEW after this. I mean, I don't no, he's think he, he's not gonna be able to. Even if he had any he's shot gross. before, he doesn't yeah, now. No. Um, he's doing that show, and then the very next day, uh, he's actually wrestling for New Japan. Like he's actually what he actually signed on with a respectable wrestling promotion and the day after he wrestles for cyn he's doing a match with minoru suzuki and i'm just like please murder grandpa smack some fucking sense into this guy but mm -hmm. here, here's the like, thing right and like i'm not i'm not gonna name names because i feel very like protective of some of these people mm -hmm. but like there are a lot of like ring of honor folks that did not get a security net to swing to in the way that like Danhausen did um who have taken these shows but do not promote them on their social media or anything just mm. to to pay rent right or keep lights on Make or whatever. Yeah. again to For have sure. a place to, again to have a place to work and that's really uh and that's really I'm, the beginning and the end of what they're talking about they're not they're not really thinking through everything that we're talking about because their priority first second third fourth fifth priority is you know, being able to pay rent, mm -hmm. being and, able to have a living and this place yeah, is no, a I get it. place to work. And um, and I do just want to say like to those people, like, I'm not mad at you. I hope you get a better chance. Right. Um, and so the people who are actively perpetuating this, whether it's on their personal, personal social media, whether it's investing in this company, uh, whatever it is. They can rest uh, in the most piss. Right. Yeah, Ooh, but like, to, to steal a phrase from your own lexicon, Fuck your feelings. You don't deserve them. Um, and like, I hope that, I hope that, I wish, I, I can't say that I hope this from Vince McMahon because I don't believe it, but I hope that Tony Khan is keeping, keeping track and paying attention. Um, because I think that there are a lot of people who don't deserve their Ring of Honor contracts back uh, for when they start booking Ring of Honor again. And I think that there are a lot of people who deserve their Ring of Honor contracts back to get them out of this. Yeah, um, because an inter working somewhere that's safe again. An, an intervention from a close friend is more likely to be successful than an intervention from a stranger. Um, so I Big think that that is what what I hope for this whole thing. And like, and like, I'm seeing a lot of people wondering, okay, Tony Khan bought Ring of Honor. Like, what does that mean? This is it. it it's right here that Tony Khan is going to relaunch Ring of Honor. This is why it's important. So, among other reasons, to not have to work for these people yeah for sure yeah. so like i think that the best thing honestly that we can do for control your narrative to, to deal with this is after this pay them no attention um because oh they won't be you, mentioned on here anymore i can tell you you can much. you can laugh at it i guess in the in the privacy of your own home i'm gonna keep track of what's going on because you know it's it's an industry thing at this point i keep track mm. of of what scumbags are making movies yeah um but don't talk about them on social media don't tweet about them their clout needs to come to a stop uh because there is nothing that people like this hate more than feeling irrelevant why do you think donald trump keeps sending out these missives from the top of his fucking tower in florida because he's afraid he's losing his foothold. He's afraid he doesn't have any friends anymore. And like friends, yeah, I mean like internet friends. Right. Um, and like, this is the same formula. These are people so, desperately gripping to relevance. Don't give it to them. So you just mentioned Tony Khan, uh, his father, Shad Khan. Uh, so I just saw this news a little, a little while ago. Uh, he owned some black news channel uh, in, in California, LA. And he closed it down, closing down businesses that happens every day. Right. Uh, but apparently he's not paying these people their last paychecks. So in wrestling, morals do not pay. So we're hoping that they do the right thing. But in actuality, they I, really I will just do. say that I try not to judge people based on the actions of their parents, um, you know, but I you're not wrong. I, I think there's a degree of caution that that definitely should be shown here. And I, I do think that at, like Vince McMahon is is a beautiful example of why ethics don't matter hmm. Um, hmm. because he has more money than God and he didn't get there honestly. Yeah, he didn't get Not there honestly or being nice. So, uh, you know. Don't work in the store. 
All right. All right. All right, guys. Uh, so Kat, I'm bummed out. I don't want to send the thank marks. Thank you so much. Thank you. For all of that. Thank you. Cat and Grog. Um, and. Yeah, because I, I mean, that needed to be brought to everybody's attention. Like, because, I mean, we ain't, we ain't here for that shit, man. Like, we we're, we do this pie because we love professional wrestling yeah. and we, we love talking about and this the is not of that. It. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> this, this is clearly not dangerous that. fighting and, and, yeah. with bad look, narratives. I don't, even look, I don't even if it was a bunch of fucking assholes just beating the shit out of each other and leaving it at that, that would be fine. Like that, you know, we could turn our backs on. But like you also the thing with like a festering cancer like this is like you do have to, to keep an eye on it. Yeah. So keep an eye on it. Like I said, this is, uh, you know, if you if you got to get a blicky, man, go ahead and do your thing, though. Like, were, it, go ahead, man. Grog, There's... what were you going to say? And look, AEW hardcores and WWE hardcores, I personally don't consider myself. I'm a fan. I'm not a hardcore. But, like, this is something that they should be able to see eye to eye on. Like, mm-hmm. this, is, this is a cancer within the industry. Mm-hmm. Well... Yeah. And yeah. I have seen I have seen a lot of solidarity. A cancer that something can be done about. Yeah. Yeah. But f- fans on both sides, a lot of solidarity with them going out. Yeah, this is fucking, fucking Mike dumb. Diddle-o. Yeah. Woof. All right, man. Off. Can can we can we talk about something at the end that's uh that is actual fun and funny? I don't know, man. That... The only thing I had left was okay. Triple H. So Well, all right, yeah. Well let's talk trips. Well, let's, it's let's... a bitter a bittersweet thing talk about um when you are with me i'm free <laughs> well, see, he should do so so he's retired all right you know, he's officially you now, retired triple h has officially retired uh from in-ring action you know he just suffered the uh the heart attack not too long ago um he's had nxt kind of ripped away from him um yeah. you know so you know it's like I, I i haven't read the article but you know one hell of a career um and uh you know i i would like to say whenever it is his turn to uh to be inducted into the second you know most important wrestling hall of fame i guess <laughs> they can play for him my sacrifice he's gonna want motorhead obviously but it's come on yeah there's only one song to really play here dog, and that's my sacrifice by creek come on you know Hello, my friends. Hello, my <laughs> friends. No, do not awesome. set up audio for, for professional audio uh, Zoom. Don't do it. Stop asking me. I know I'm over here singing. But uh, <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, you know, we didn't, some of us didn't care for his burial of Booker. Know, well, uh, yeah. Didn't care for that. But I mean, I don't know how much of that was under his control. But, you know, um, for. For I mean, I mean the the ending of that match, I think, was under his control at least. Just yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. So, no shout out. We want the gold, sucker. Um, and uh, you know, so that that's that's uh, that's uh, for a hell of a career. I you know, um, he kind of you know he was doing the mania thing, the you know so, but. This is going to sound shitty, but like one silver lining to this is that we won't have to sit through another Triple H match at WrestleMania. Oh, you think that don't mean we're going to have to sit through a... I disagree. I'd rather sit through another (laughs) Triple H match, man. I I didn't mind Mania to Triple H, man. Once a year... Mania to Triple H is fine. I I mean, if it's a deal where like, like the mixed tag with him and Stephanie against Kurt Angle and Ronda Rousey was great. It was a like shit that, that show was, that was a in the match. best like, way possible. His last, his <laughs> last match, mayhem. His last match with Batista was just something that we really did not need to see. I I didn't mind it. And plus, it, it gave was... us that great promo. Give, Give me what, what I, I want. want. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's the, that's what the last. Want. Thing. Give me what I want. The lasting thing from the very last program, the Batista very last match of both his of those bag. guys. Yes, he did. He got in that acting bag. Batista. Yeah. Okay. okay. Give me what I want. In the bottom of that bag. I don't mean to keep centering myself, though, but like I do a little. Uh, like, I'm sorry. Jay Cargill noticed me. Um, yeah. Whoa, like, I'm, <laughs> yeah. That is the happy note that we are going like, to go I, on. I, Shout out to I, Big Jade. Quite literally, think I ascended to a higher plane. I'd be like, smacking I... off right now had that happened to me. <laughs> I, I don't know how you're not just, you know, I don't know. 
<laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Stop. Out of respect Stop. for us, Stop. I guess. I don't know, but I'd be in a corner right now. Uh, yeah, listen, this was, on my cal- this was on my calendar, so I did this. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah. Um, Raging uh, jealousy uh, boner over here. Oh, and also, um, I may have a suitcase full of 3D printed teeth that are easily sanitizable to give uh, one Donovan Danhausen. Oh, okay. um, nice. Assuming uh, we are able to put together a rendezvous point. Uh, because I feel like just showing up at the arena with that is gonna be real sketch. Um, right, right. So, understandable. Yeah, if you yeah, if you can if you can meet with him and Ego at a comic book store somewhere. I yeah, I'm just kind of gonna be over. like, I will uh, not look at your face if you're only half done. Like I know the struggle. I've done your makeup. It's not easy. Uh, uh, you know, I'll hand it off to to Davis or Camera Boy Nick slash Greg. Like whatever you need. But like, I've got a briefcase full of teeth that you can sanitize, do you want them? <laughs> <laughs> Let me help Safe. you. Danhausen right. appreciates this offering. Everyone loves that Danhausen. <laughs> Spot on. Uh, real quick, last uh, last thing. Um, Bret Hart, flex nuts. <laughs> on Brock Lesnar and uh, everybody else, let's, um, just run the, I'll just run the audio real quick. Let's do that. Brock Lesnar. You got one of these? Yeah, the Simpsons figure. What about He's you, holding Rick up Flair? The Simpsons doll. Oh yeah, I forgot. You weren't even on Simpsons. Bet you don't have one of these bad boys either. Show me the Simpsons. Why would I want a picture of a pitiful pants on that beach? Don't feel sorry for him. <laughs> with I'm, with glasses. I'm the podcast I am nice. just gonna say for the record uh, uh, the, uh, the Simpsons is a shit show uh, but Dufftoberfest which is a beer they actually make and sell at mm. Universal Studios fucking slams mm. uh, and is a surprisingly good deal for theme park liquor thank wow. you for coming to my TED talk uh, if uh if the Mark Rob and I end up going to this year's Halloween Horror Nights, which we might for podcast reasons, mm. uh, uh, we will. Uh, money in the hyphen podcast budget for that? Let's go. Uh, oh. <laughs> we have a budget. Um, Every time. <laughs> <laughs> he shies away from the camera. Hyphen, hyphen only fans. Um, only hyphens. Um, <sighs> She I mean, was I'm looking down. over. She Mark was Rob. looking over at my cat. He's Mark Rob, this for you, buddy. <laughs> ooh, you're, you're ooh, bust it open. Ooh, ooh, I got a little yeah. clavicle there. A lot nice. of clavicle up in that mm. pic. That's mm-hmm. considered porn in one of our one of our countries that we do uh, crown jewel. It's considered porn to show clavicle. Oh, I think it's only porn. for ladies. Nah, uh, yeah. Uh, they all they all get to dress like Britney Spears uh, in that fucking music video with the PVC suits. I literally hate it. It's terrible. Whoa, I think that's the high oh, point, guys. We'll see us. No. We'll see y'all out. Grog, all cat. Right. Thank you. Thank you for your your special report, Kit Kat Kitteridge. It was amazing. Mark Rob, Fellas, thank you. Is it gay to notice no. someone's clavicle? <laughs> Hell it's no. It's only gay if it moves. Oh. It's only gay if it moves. <laughs> Handsome Bane, thank you. This is Triple Hyphen, Rasslecast, out.